as we saw, 5G networks will make use of higher spectrum frequencies than previous generations of wireless networks, and will also implement breakthrough technologies like new radio. Is that safe? As the cartoon we're about to watch explains, there's no plausible way that 5G emissions could be unsafe. Are 5G emissions safe? As 5G networks are deployed around the world, some concerns have been expressed about the safety of the technology. Could 5G hurt us or the environment? There are only two ways that 5G could be unsafe. That would be because of the frequencies the technology uses or the strength of the signal. 5G uses higher frequencies than 4G. When people worry about 5G, they usually think that higher frequencies mean unsafe radiation. Radiation is a scary word. And yes, 5G emits radiation. But a lot of things do. Light bulbs, for example. Radiation that can damage living tissue at the molecular level is called ionizing radiation. It includes ultraviolet light, X-rays, and gamma rays. Non-ionizing radiation that you get from standing under a light bulb does not cause damage. So yes, 5G frequencies are higher than 4G frequencies. But compared to ionizing radiation levels, there's still a very, very long way from the harmful range. Let's turn to intensity, or the strength of the signal. Microwave frequencies are too low to cause molecular damage. But if they are strong enough, they generate heat. That's how we get microwave ovens. So that mobile emissions don't heat up objects or organisms within their range, governments set strict standards well below the thermal effect level. The EU allows up to 10 watts per square meter. But actual tests show that wireless emissions are far below that. Right under a base station, 5G radiation is equivalent to that of a hair dryer. And 15 feet away, it's a tiny fraction of what you'd measure from a microwave oven. The UK Office of Communications published the results of a countrywide study that looked at emissions from 5G mobile base stations. At most, they were 0.04% of the regulatory standard. So neither 5G's intensity nor frequency are a problem. And yet, some alarming studies have concluded that electromagnetic radiation can hurt plants or lab animals under certain conditions. Okay, but were these conditions in any way realistic? And were the results ever replicated? This is key. With science, it's important to look at the conditions are harmful. This includes the World Health Organization. In the U.S., the FDA reviewed the scientific literature published between 2008 and 2018 on mobile emission safety. It found no reasons for concern. ICNIRP, a global organization based in Germany, is entirely focused on radiation protection research. It recently completed a seven-year review of mobile wireless emissions, including 5G frequencies. ICNIRP confirmed that there is no reason to think mobile wireless emissions cause diseases. In the news, hardly a day goes by that one study or other says that something, coffee for example, is bad for you. The safety of mobile wireless technologies has been extensively researched over the past 40 years. 5G is new and operates in a different range, but it's the same as before as far as safety goes. So are 5G emissions safe? Absolutely. As safe as a light bulb. So there you have it. The safety of mobile emissions has been under the spotlight for several decades. The world's largest health agencies have found nothing to worry about, and 5G is no different. And that concludes this course on 5G. Congratulations for making it to the end. I look forward to seeing you in another Seeds of the Future course.